a quick tutorial video on oil change for Nissan Titan uh, years 2004 through 2015 and the process is actually the same for Nissan Armada same years uh, 2004 to 2015 and actually for Infiniti QX56 so same motor basically same manufacturer same process so we'll start with tools that you'll need uh, you'll need 14 millimeter socket that's for your drain plug ratchet this 532nd allen key you will only need it if you have off-road package uh, which comes with a metal skid plate i'll show it to you in a second well you'll need a funnel for your oil to fill of course you will need your oil filter you can pick these up at your automotive store or online amazon ebay pretty cheap uh, oil Manufacturer recommends changing your oil every seven and a half thousand miles, but it's actually your choice. Like I prefer full synthetic, so I don't have to change it every seven seven and a half thousand miles. I do it every ten thousand miles. Uh, I usually go with mobile on my next oil change. I will try Amazon Essentials, which I read really really good reviews about. It's very comparable with Mobile One, and it's actually a little bit cheaper. Uh, so this motor takes. A full seven quarts of oil that's with oil filter change so that's a lot of oil so this is a skid plate I was talking about and it only comes with off-road package and it has this little window right here this is where you use this Allen key to remove it The little window comes out so through this window you can access the oil filter which is located right here and it has a little channel so when you unscrew the filter all the oil drains down this channel although a lot of it uh, drips down on this bar so it creates a little bit of mess so and especially if you have the skid plate I would recommend putting a rag down here so if any oil catches on this bar and drips down you know it'll get caught in that rag so it just eliminates a lot of mess to clean up and your drain plug is located right next to the passenger side arm which is right here so this is where you use the 14 millimeter socket so just unscrew it, drain it, and this is for the oil. Unscrew the cap, put your funnel in there, so oil goes here when you fill it. And while you're doing all this, it's a good idea to check your battery connection, top off your fluids, check your air filter. So process fairly simple. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below. And I hope you liked the video. Thanks.